morning everybody welcome back to day three of my study with me february half term series to start with today i'm going to be making pancakes Woo. i had leftover batter from last night because it was pancake day i'm going to be making a couple of pancakes just to start my morning off with something good the first pancake is in i cut up the apple ready to put in i think i'm gonna do apple and nutella pancakes because i think that'll be really nice mm. they look so good i'm back in my study and we are going to start with some physics which is magnetic fields i need to finish the notes and make some flashcards that will take me some time to do <laughs> my phone so that camera is not gonna be back for a while but I'm still doing physics so I'll just let you know when I'm done. I thought whilst my phone was out of the way I would just screen record my iPad and I think it actually looks quite cool so if you like this look of filming just let me know. The backup finally finished um I'll just show you what notes I did. These are all the ones I started today. Current carrying wires Repulsion, direction of force, magnitude, moving charges, forces between current carrying wires, parallel wires. I have the Hall effect, linear accelerators, cyclotrons, and synchrotrons. I think that's it. You should stop physics there because honestly, it's been nearly two hours just on physics. And I have a lot left to do. But I did find a cool YouTube video. Explain this. So, like, you have a cool little equation for determining like the force on one wire if you know that wire i don't know it's cool i don't think it's in my spec like i thought it would be but it's still interesting to know next thing i am going to do is the normal distribution because it shouldn't be too difficult i'm just going to read through my notes and then do past paper questions similar to how i did things yesterday these are my normal distribution notes. Um, yeah, not too bad, honestly. Realise that there was a bit missing on distinguishing between multiples of one observation or multiple observations. I added that bit in and it actually makes sense. It never made sense at first, but I dissected it like all the way down to read the wording of the question. What is it telling you? And I get it now. I think retrospect really helps with revising, definitely. I think I'm ready to try some questions. So I'll go find some. of papers and I get it I can easily recognize which time to use the n squared or just n so that's good um I need to put my iPad on charge so I'm gonna take a lunch break here I know this morning hasn't been as productive simply because I buy more iCloud storage right so I could back up my good notes because I think is so important because if I lose this, all of my A-level work from this year is just gone, which would be awful. So I bought extra iCloud storage and I've been trying to back it up, but I think it needs to go on, on charge to do it. So I'm gonna do it whilst I have lunch. I'm going to have some instant noodles for lunch, which is, you know, so nutritious. <laughs> I don't know what else to have, to be honest. I added some cucumber and sweet corn and corn slices. I'm going to enjoy this and be back afterwards. I'm back upstairs and the next thing I think I'm gonna do is Viv Maths 
but it's going to be calculus and I'm going to make sure one of the topics that I definitely do is volumes revolution because I haven't done it in so long. My plan is to go through all the theory again because it has been a very long time and then go through past papers and work through the questions there. I have just done one of the hardest integration questions I've ever come across. Let me show you. I started it over big year, but I was like, I'm just going to end up an infinite loop. But I kept going and then I noticed something. This, this bit is equal to this bit. They're the same integral, right? So I redid it because that was not clear and I needed this to be blah. So I rewrote it out. And when I got to this step, you have minus four of this integral which is equal to this integral. So if you add four of these integral onto each side, you eliminate it and you get out of the infinite loop. And then you have five on there, which you just keep there. And at the end, you just take it across. That's awesome. But yeah, God, that took, that took some time. getting very repetitive so i stopped filming i have one question left but oh my god this has taken a very long time and i hope it's right because i haven't checked any of it yet wish me luck my head physically hurts right now i think i've done a bit too much calculus for the minute like i could feel bigger like a throbbing pain so i think now is a good time for a break i think i was working for two hours and 15 minutes anyway it's a lot of work just close this book and put it to one side for a bit. I have a cup of tea and some biscuits and I'm just gonna relax because I figured it out right, I normally get home at half four and it's half four so my body doesn't like working between half four and five thirty so I'm gonna take a break not until five thirty but normally when I get home from college I start work five thirty to six and my body's like take a break now so you get into your productive time, maybe. It has just turned 5 p.m. and I'm back at the desk with Kat. Who's a bit moody because I won't let her sit on my lap because I'm wearing nice leggings and she'll just put so many holes in them. The last thing on my to-do list is maps, which are points of inflection. But I'm going to go back and do some more physics as I don't think I've done enough. Like, I haven't finished the notes, so I want to at least get the notes done, maybe even the flashcards, and I've got, like, the rest of the evening. I'm using this book to do my further maths questions, and I think I just want to keep it as just further maths. I might just write on it, further maths. And I think I have another one, so I'm going to use that for maths. There we go. I'm pretty sure I bought these when I was in, like, year 9, and I'm in year 13, so these are, like, 5 years old. I know I used this one because, as you can see... I used it for science, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll add like fun little sticky notes on them. Perfect. <laughs> and before I change to something else because I've actually done the whole list now um so I'm just gonna be going back to the stuff that I did earlier and like doing anything that I didn't finish because I thought I didn't have the time okay I'm gonna be doing more magnetic fields <laughs>
so that is the whole effect. We've got linear accelerators, cyclotrons, and synchrotrons. Woo! It is nearly 7 pm. Um, I'm gonna have a quick break and grab a snack because I'm quite hungry and then come back and make flashcards because flashcards is always a nice thing to end the day on because they're not too strenuous. I'm just taking my notes and just shortening them. Slight issue is I have a very comfy cat on me who is peering away and digging holes into my leggings like normal. I got myself a cup of tea and a packet of crisps and this is how much work I've done today. So I've done three hours of maths, two hours physics, nearly an hour of maths. If you look at the weekly right, look how much fear of mass takes up in my time <laughs> that's ridiculous maybe this can be a warning to people when they take fear of mass it'll take up all of your time trying to understand it it is half seven which means flash card time Woo! flashcards it took about 35 minutes and I've just realized I have 10 minutes left until I've hit seven hours of studying so I'm definitely gonna do something for 10 minutes and I think it's gonna be maths because I've only done 40 minutes on maths today I'm gonna make some statistics notes because we started statistics in normal maths um on Friday just before we finished and I thought whilst we've only done I think not many pages I just thought that maybe I could add these into it, so things like that. I didn't finish the notes, but I done one entire page. I th so I have to do the law of total probability and Bayes' theorem. I can do that another day, so it's all good. But yeah, quite happy with those notes. Definitely did not take 10 minutes, a bit longer than that, but it's okay. It's just extra studying time and I was in the mood, so why not? I think that is a job well done for today so thank you so much for watching day three of my February half term study with me series I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>